Hi guys, in this video I'm going to disassemble the variomatic propeller. Uh, it fits. step-by-step -step video tutorial how to replace a blade in case it's damaged. Very unlikely that it's gonna happen because in a previous video we did some destruction tests and we, you can watch that in the link below how incredibly much abuse this prop can take thanks to protective leading edge which is kind of a rubbery material, elastic, it absorbs then the energy without breaking. Now in the unlikely scenario that the prop gets damaged and needs to be replaced. The good news is that you'll only replace the broken blade. If the other blade is intact, you just keep it because every blade that we manufacture is balanced to one single prototype in a factory. So you just take that one, put it in, and it's ready to fly already pre-balanced for you. But in this video, we're gonna disclose the magic, the clockwork that is inside this black aluminum cover. You will only need two tools effectively. That's the five millimeter and three millimeter Allen key. And it will be also nice to have something thin, like a thin screwdriver. This is a two millimeter Allen key that I'm using. So first I'm gonna remove these two bolts that hold the springs. So remove them carefully. So you keep the same order of all the components. Remove the washer that it's underneath the lever and place it to the side into a tray. You will be putting it in the, in the same way back so it's good to keep it uh, all together. Next I'm going to use the uh, three millimeter Allen key to remove the stoppers. These are the stoppers that set the minimum and maximum pitch of the propeller. Again, I'll take the whole assembly. And take the washers here. Now turn the prop around and remove the center bolt that holds the whole assembly together. You don't need to remove it completely. Only about one centimeter so that the top comes off. Now you remove the top and here comes the magic. This is the clockwork that works inside the prop. I'll remove the remains of the thread lock that it's on the bolt. And now you pull out the center gear. And now you can remove both blades. The other part of the center gear just stays, stays there. We can put this aside for the moment. Next step is to loosen the bearings. You'll pull it down and you remove these two kind of half circles that hold the bearing. There you go. There's some grease to it. They're all the same. Okay. Now, in order to remove the bearings, the lever and the gear, we need to remove the center bolt, which need Phillips key. Again, remove residues of the thread lock. Now I just need to pull this off. Sometimes you can be, it works pulling on the lever, sometimes not. In that case, I need to get underneath with a, with a knife and get it off. It's, it's a, it's tight, but with a little patience, it will come off. There you go. Finally, there it goes. 
now the lever. And the two bearings. Then the gasket. I'm gonna take the original blade, fully assemble it, put it here in front of me, take a new blade that I want to use here, and now I'm going to install all the components back in a pretty much same way so it matches how it looks here. So first, I need to go with the gasket, then the bearing, facing the same way as it is here. Now comes the lever and then comes the gear. And now comes the bolt. Go. And now these four half circles to lock the bearing in place. There she goes. And uh, third and fourth make the gap kind of even on top and the bottom and there, and there she goes fully assembled now i'm going to disassemble this one and assemble exactly the same way blades ready so before inserting it back into the main hub make sure you have the the gasket in the right position the bearings pushed all the way in and you just put it in now I can rotate it and I see that the gear is engaged now as you place I'll place the other one. You don't want it to be just randomly inserted because they need to be in equal or kind of mirrored position. So what you do is you push this lever down, push it, push it here down and, and insert into the gear. So now the levers are all, both of the levers are in the terminal position when you engage the, the gears. And you double check that that if you lift it and put it down, they are all the same. What you want to avoid is inserting it like this. So again, pushing here, pushing down here, and then insert the center part. Now, while still pressing the levers into the terminal position, I carefully make sure that this bolt is all the way out and place the center gear on top of it. Now I can place the, the top cover. It's symmetric, so it, it doesn't matter which way it goes. It 
make double check that both levers are touching here and now get the screw in place tight we want to be sure that it's touching here touching and touching no oh, i actually made a mistake so one more time it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to replace a blade on the Verimatic probe and as you've seen it's it's fairly easy now i think it's quite unlikely that you're gonna need this uh, because uh, the prop is extremely durable and resistant to impact so it's very unlikely that you're gonna damage it to, uh, to the point that you need to replace it now there comes a valid question what's like a maintenance interval of it how in, in full honesty, I don't know. We've been flying these Verimatic propellers for two years and so far we did not come to a point where we would need to replace bearing or gears because of wear. And I'm not surprised by that. Although there are some moving parts, they move very little and very slow. So, so the bearings are made for much, much higher loads. They are made for much, much higher like a rotational speed and so on. This is just three degrees back and forth at slow, slow pace. So right now we stopped using grease because it's absolutely unnecessary. So I don't know what's the maintenance interval, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna be times longer than that of your engine because that is suffering a lot more stress than, than the prop. So in real life, you'll probably be very, very happy flying this without ever touching it. And because this prop saves 33% fuel on cruise, you can you can look forward to fly long long and a lot so fly safe and enjoy mm -hmm.